Okay. I'm gonna try to show you how to draw flu. Uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna use the graphite pencil basically so you can see what I'm doing. Now then, um, I found that uh, doing what the animators do and, and drawing a sort of a structural underdrawing first is really the key to having your characters look consistent from one to the next I mean, if you're going to draw characters. And also the, you know, the, 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 the Jack Ham uh, female figure construction technique. I may have to explain that in the description. Anyway, I kind of like, I draw this line where the shoulders are going to be and kind of there's where the hips are going to be. Sort of outline the thigh area, and I mean it's it's a floozy, so she's gonna be standing with her chest out and her butt sticking back in here, and and because uh, that's how the wilds work. Okay, all right. So I've kind of. You draw this, and you want her to be narrow at the waist, and then the hips are kind of this shape. And you figure out where that's going to be. And then, then the, this chest area, you want it to be kind of parallel to the shoulders. And I draw this sort of, that's where the boobs will be. And, um, in the world of, of cartoon gender dimorphism, uh, girls have long, slender necks, so you can go ahead and do that, and, uh, let's see, that kind of, and it helps when you're doing these, the sketching beforehand, and it gives you an idea of where everything is going to be so you can get the proportions and not like run off the edge of the paper one way or the other. I think I explained this in the previous sketching video, but the sound was crappy and you couldn't really hear me, so I'll say it again. Let's see. Also, like, kind of suggest what her face is going to look like. And it's, uh, it's supposed to be, I don't know if you can see it because of the glare, it's supposed to be her. The, this one time only sort of throwaway floozy that I drew back there in this ballad illustration. It's going to be her. Anyway, I have that there for reference so I can sort of replicate that character design. She's got a little crown, hair crown in the center of her head. and It's okay if the horns extend past the frame. That's fine. But you want most of the character to be in there. Rectangular nose that I give most of my ungulate. Is it ungulate or undulate? I think it's ungulate. It's a word that I mean I know how to spell it, but you never hear it in conversation, so I don't really know how it's pronounced. So if someone could tell me that, I'd appreciate it. Maybe there's another YouTube video of somebody saying ungulate. I should look that up. Anyway, what is she doing? She's got a mischievous grin. That's enough to work with. I'll 
fix that later. One thing to remember when you're working with a graphite pencil, don't draw too dark because you're going to have to erase your underdrawing. If you use a blue pencil, uh, you don't necessarily have to erase it as long as you don't draw too heavy because a blue pencil is invisible to a black and white scan. They, uh, they used to use those back in the days of, of Xerox photocopying. The blue pencil won't show up in the copy. And I've discovered that if you set your scanner mode to sort of emulate that strict black and white bitmap scanning, the blue pencil will be invisible to the scanner. And that means that you don't have to erase your pencils. But when you use a, a graphite pencil, then you have to erase. And so it really pays to keep your underdrawing light. Now let's see, she's gonna she's the minister of wet t shirts. This is, uh, now that I'm looking, you know, it really helps to draw the face first. Her torso seemed kind of long in proportion to that head. I don't know what that... My character design metamorphoses from year to year, and I find lately I've been drawing their heads smaller in proportion to their bodies and then with these like big hips and heavy thighs which is nice I don't know if it looks right though to other people that might be too small of a head but anyway let's see your hands right here cause she's minister of wet t-shirts that was the and I have to sort of distort these because her arms are pressing those boobs together and, and then the shirt would be kind of stretched down here and figure out I don't want to have long gorilla arms so that's about where her wrists should be and I really do well I don't know Kind of have to back up and look at it from a distance. Or the, is that torso too long for that head? So I can always cheat and make the head a little bigger. And that may fix the problem. And extend this and move that down. And her eyes are sort of high, so I can move them down too. And this is why we pencil first, because then you can you can get everything right before you commit to ink. Ink is forever. Anyway. Um, I don't want this to go on too long, but that's a, you know, that's a start. I also notice that um, she's landed significantly higher than the bottom of the frame, and then the horns running off the top of the frame. I might redo this. We'll see. But that's enough for now.